Hi everybody, I am Sherry and this is me now. <laughs> um, so this week it's the October update. Uh, happy Halloween everybody. I had intended to look nice and dressed up, but unfortunately last week when my fever broke, so did my face. So I'm in a mask and I've been in a mask all week. So sorry for the Santas. I know it's hated right now because it's not even Halloween, but uh, it's the only one I have left clean after a week of working while being under the weather and uh, being all scarred up. Um, I guess this week I want to kind of talk about um, the appliance graveyard. We all have an appliance graveyard, whether it's in our kitchen, in our garage, maybe it's our tools, maybe it's our appliances, who knows? We all have spent money on something that we thought was going to make our lives so much better, so much easier. And when we got it and we tried it out, we're like, oh, this thing is awful. Either it doesn't work or it makes things terrible or both. It doesn't work and it makes it terrible. So this week at work and since I've been there, my job had this huge six foot wrapper on a contraption that you have to hold with both hands and you have to stumble around it. It's got a huge base underneath it that you're tripping on and four sets of wheels and you're just, they want you to wrap the pellets with this thing, right? Ridiculous. Just take a little two foot roll and wrap your pellet. Super easy. Doesn't hurt you. You don't have to run and make yourself dizzy. Just wrap your pellet. Looks nice. I tried. I tried using this machine three times. All three times I tweaked my back and I was broken for like good three or four days. It still went to work, still st stuck it out, but I don't have coverage. I can't go into a massage therapist and say, hey, fix me. My job wants me to use this busted piece of garbage that breaks me. I can't go to a chiropractor and say, hey, fix me. They have benefits. They want to break their staff and their staff want to make that okay and let themselves get broken. No problem. Give me the little roll. I'll happily wrap the pallet. Lickety quick. No problem. It's fast, efficient. It wraps nice and tight and snug. So I had the boss come over. I'm like, dude, Come and show me how this works. Like, make it work because I keep hurting myself with it and I'm not going to do that. So he does it. <laughs> it's wrapped like, like so sloppy and loose. Like nothing's held, right? It's all like this. And I'm like, dude, you can't load that into a trailer. So that load, the second the trucker pulls out, it's going to fall all over the place. I said, that's not okay. And he's like, oh. It doesn't matter. As long as we put it on the truck, it can fly all over the truck. It doesn't matter. I don't care what happens to it. It's not our problem then. I'm like, that's how you run your company. That's how you treat your products that you're shipping out. If I'm on the receiving end and something looks like that, I'm shipping it right back to the company. I have done it. I have been in receiving and I have said, look, I'm not taking anything off that truck. Now, if it's in a case where the other the driver has other people's stuff behind it and he has to truck it all the way back to you, now those people aren't getting their stuff. What a horrible outlook. What a crappy company. Like this, this isn't how you wrap something. You wrap it nice and snug and tight. Like, oh, so this appliance graveyard item they were fine they left it alone but then of course the the office people and the safety people come and they're like this makes life easier this makes life safer you can't wrap by hand 
because you're going to hurt yourself. No, I hurt myself on that machine every time, every single time. Tripped over it. I have tweaked my back all three times. Trip over it twice out of the three times, and it doesn't do the job. Well, I go home on Friday, and no sooner I pull up in front of the house, and I get a call from the temp service saying, um, apparently they said your work is lacking and blah, blah, blah. And I said, oh, no, I know exactly what it's about. And I told her about the machine. She's like, oh, man, because my daughter is also working there. They lied and said they had her doing data entry, that uh, her job is completely different, which it what well, it is completely different. She's packing and I was picking and I would help her wrap <laughs> because she wasn't going to use that machine. I think they think that if they throw me out, she will use that machine and she won't. She tweaked her back once. She's smart. She hurts herself once. That's it. That's all. I gave it at least three tries. You know what company? Everybody has an appliance graveyard, so you wasted your money, so you bought something shitty, and it's no good. Too bad. Suck it up. Move on, right? Get over it. Then I find out that they had a seven-foot one before the six-foot one. Plus, they've already bought a five-foot one. They just don't get it. You know, if you buy, say, I don't know. I, I can't even think of an item offhand, but you buy an item that's, uh, let's say it's a, a pierogi maker, okay? And it's little cups that you fold in half and it makes your life easier, right? It's supposed to make your life easier, but you still have to go around, you still have to pinch the edges extra, and you still have to fiddle with the cups. And turns out they don't really make your life any easier. You still have to do it by hand anyways, why would you go and buy another exact same thing, bigger, smaller, whatever, and say, oh, but this one will work better. Why? It's the same thing, same product, same company even. <laughs> same make and model, different size. It's still, you still have to fold them over. So, I mean, roll them, cut them. And fold them and, and, and do that. If you have to do it all by hand anyway, do it by hand. Oh, okay, that's my rant for the week. That's so I, uh, I guess I have a long weekend because, of course, they never said anything till Friday was over and the company was going home, so they couldn't find me a job for Monday. So I have a long weekend, which is great. I came home Friday. I finished up an order for two table skirts and a dog leash. Then uh, I called it a night because it was pretty late. Uh, today I have still an order for two pet ho cat harnesses sets to make. So I'm hoping to get that done this weekend. I have two quilts that I picked up the batting for, so I want to get those done this weekend. And, and then I can start on four more quilts, throw blankets. So I don't mind having the extra day off. And then I should be back at work on Tuesday at the next temp job. I don't know why these companies think that they are the only company giving temps work. Every single warehouse, factory, etc., takes in temps. A temp job is just a temp job. Like... <laughs> Uh, they they really think we're going to come in there and break and bust ourselves for the piddly little bit of money we make doing it. And we don't have any benefits, no coverage, no nothing. Personally, even now, if I have a company with benefits, I'm not going to break myself for them. I will not do that anymore. I've done it. Don't get me wrong. I've done it. I've broken and busted myself my whole life. What a stupid thing to do. But younger people, they that have watched their parents do that, they're smart enough to know not to do that. They don't do that anymore. My kids know they don't do that. My daughter, one time she hurt herself. Nope, not going to do it. I think they think if I'm not there, they can bully her into using it. <laughs> Boy, are they wrong. 
that's not going to happen. She just won't wrap anything. She'll just leave all the pallets standing there and they can wrap them later. Their people hate that machine. Not a single person in that warehouse wants to use it. The boss and the supervisor, they have to run that machine together. They can't run it by themselves, but yet five, five foot daughter or me, you know, five foot three and I'm a little hefty. We can't, we were supposed to run it all by ourselves. <laughs> what the heck? Uh, okay, I know the rant was over. Still bugging me. Still bugging me. Just the stupidity of it, you know? But uh, it's okay. It is what it is. Funny, stupid, and ridiculous. All right, everybody. I Hopefully my face is healed next week and I'm not all muffled up. Um, uh, other than that, I hope you have a fantastic week. I intend to have a very productive and busy week. And I will see you all again next week. Thank you so much. Have a great weekend. And I hope you get a chuckle out of this as well. Like, we all have an appliance graveyard where we went, ah, poop, wasted money. Why can't companies do that? They just can't bite the bullet and say, oh, we made a bad choice. Well, that sucks. Move on, right? Uh, no, nope. they go, oh, look, it's okay because we don't actually have to use the item here in the office. It's these people and we don't really care about them. They can be broken. It's okay. <laughs> what kind of way is that to treat your staff? Oh, boy. Anyways. I'm Sherry, this is me now, signing off until next week. <laughs>